Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is at work. And this knife is about the best knives with the best lockup. And I'm not necessarily talking about strength. What I'm talking about is engagement. So the way the lock engages when it activates. Basically, you know, and I tried to pull out different types of locks here and I already recorded this once and it was entirely way too long of a video. So I'm going to try to get through this quickly. But this is the Spyderco PM2 and this is basically just the compression lock itself. The compression lock does activate very nicely as a locking mechanism. It's very strong and when it does activate you you know it and it doesn't really i've never had one where when i opened it up it didn't fully engage and you can actually see it engage and kind of jerk that lot or jerk the blade into place and that's kind of basically what i'm talking about with this whole video next we're going to pull out another spider co the spider co manix um one of my favorite locking um mechanisms out there I love, and you know, the lock has a lot to do with the detent too. You can really hear that suck that blade into closing position. And then when it opens, you hear that click. That ball, there's a spring here with a steel ball that pushes up into a groove and locks that blade into place. And... It's also an extremely strong lock. Like I have no problems even leaving my fingers there to check it because I know it's extremely strong. And it's just, yeah, great locking system. And I love the way it engages. In this case, I do have the flytanium scales with the flytanium ball cage. But yeah, it activates very nicely. Now let's get to a liner lock. This is more of a budget knife. And we're going to pull out two of them from CJRB. This is the mini Feldspar. But strong detent on mine. I mean, a very strong detent for a liner lock. Which, you know, actually makes it take off. You can slow roll it. But that when it, when it does lock up, you can hear it. And see how strong that liner really snaps that blade into place. I mean, it, it's there's no way to slow it to slow roll it, and for that lock to not engage, which I love. I I don't like when I hit a lock and I do it really slow, and then it doesn't engage because I'm going so slow. And then next, the CJRB Malaya, which is even more so than the Mini Feldspar. Very clicky, strong detent. You can hear it. But then also on the open, wow. Yeah, that thing, it just... I'm not even um, like putting much pressure on the thumb stud and you can just see how it just takes over. Once it gets past that detent ball right there, once it gets past right there, it just locks itself in, which I like that. I like knowing that when I get to that point right there, it just snaps right into place. The CJRB Malaya. Next, we are going to go to some CVVs. And trust me, guys, I could have pulled out so many knives, so many more <laughs> knives. I had to narrow some down. This is the new Civivi Brazen Drop Point, which I believe dropped on the 19th. They might be already sold out. But, yeah. Nice detent on the open. But when you go to lock it up, whoo, the thing snaps right in. No issues on it not locking up, having early lockup, or not engaging the Civivi Brazen Drop Point. Now, here's the new Civivi Button Lock Elementum. Now, in the closed position, it's locked. And you can see it's on like a liner, 
with a little disc, if I can get it to come up. You can see that little disc right there. And it snaps behind the blade hook to the liner. And it really, for a button lock, man, this thing locks up very solid. Same thing with the clothes. You can actually hear it on the clothes. That's that lock engaging. Same thing with the open. Very, very nice lockup for a button lock. And now speaking about button locks, I got another one I want to pull out because kind of the same thing. This, um, but it does have a different type of lock, um, being a button lock. This one's on, it's basically the similar to most button locks. It, it has a spring right here pushing this little steel, um, piece right here out and into a groove. But, the Kaiser Swayback has an incredibly strong detent for a button lock. Like, they put a very good uh, spring in there. Like, even just to try to slow roll it, you see how it kind of tries to take off on me? So, it's the same spring for the closing position, which locks up very solid for a button lock. I mean, this is extremely solid for a button lock. Now... I know it's not very loud, but I can feel it. I can feel it engaging, which is very satisfying. All these locks are very satisfying. There's something, in my opinion, to a lock engaging and you feeling that engagement. Next, and just a disclaimer, I do not have any triad locks on this list. I apologize. I do not have any triad locks, but I do have a back lock, and this is the Spyderco Chaparral. There would be triad locks on this list if I had some. Now, this thing, whoo, the thing clicks in with some authority, and then it has some resistance right here because it's just the nature of a back lock, but then as soon as it gets to here... It just pulls itself shut. Nice, strong tension. The hole is very easy to access. And when, I like to slow roll this thing. And when I slow roll it and I get to this position right here, I can really feel that lock engaging down into the blade. I never worry about opening this thing up and the lock not engaging and it not being ready for action. Next... Um, now this is a couple more spider codes really quick because this has to do with their frame locks. Now this is one with a titanium or it's a titanium frame lock with a steel lock bar insert. I could not do this video without this knife being on the list because it, it's, it's not like, it's very smooth, right? It's very smooth. But when you get to here, it really pulls that blade all the way open. It's like that lock just pushes the thing right in the action, and then the, the lock goes underneath the tang. And it is very powerful. I love it. And you can really see that lock bar insert, how big it is, engaging underneath the blade. Very satisfying. Next is just a titanium frame lock. Now, this is the Slish Buoy. I know it's discontinued. I know a lot of people want it, and they can't have it. I hope they make a second version, too. But you can't deny the, the lockup on this thing. It is so solid. And it feels very satisfying. Very powerful lockup, the way it just really sucks right in underneath that blade. And it's loud, too. Nice and clicky. Now, my, my lock bar has the tiny bit of stick that I actually enjoy. That's the type of stick I like to feel. Because it tells me that this thing is going to be very, very, very solid. And it is. Very smooth. Yeah. 
I love it. Next is um, a concept knife, the Concept Cryo. Now, this is the micarta version, the large version, because they do make a smaller version. And the detent, it doesn't sound loud because it's muffled by the micarta, but it is a good detent. Very, very good detent in whatever way you want to deploy it. But on the lockup, Man, that thing locks up solid. I mean, it just puts itself there. Like, I'm, like, barely putting any, like, I'm barely touching the blade. Ooh, like, it's like, I almost don't even need to. It'll just do it itself. It is very solid, and I know it's dark, so it's hard to see, but it really puts itself into the lockup position. I never worry about the the lock bar getting stuck because sometimes lock bars will get stuck like very early, like right there, you know, like where they're not all the way engaged. And it's worrisome, you know, because you'd hate to slow roll your knife open and nice and quiet and it not engage. And in this case, no matter how slow I do it, that lock bar will always engage fully. Next is hinders. I almost didn't put this on the list because I know it's the kind of knife that, you know, everybody knows. Yeah, of course it's going to have great lockup, but man, there's just something to this strong, thick lock bar just smashing on underneath that blade. It does have a steel lock bar insert. And that lock bar is nice and strong. Very, very solid. Great detent. Whether I'm using the thumb studs or... Whew, that thing is so smooth. But about the lockup, it engages very, very solid. And you can hear it really clicking in. Same thing with the detent. The detent is really nice. And then also the three inch. Oh yeah, this is the Hinder XM18 3.5 inch triad lock. Here's the three inch non-flipper and the same thing. I mean, it engages so smoothly and aggressively at the same time, I guess you could say. Not aggressively, but it's it locks up with authority. And I like that. Next is the Alien Knives DX2. Now, this thing, I know mine's the prototype, but it's basically the same thing that everybody else got. I think mine might be a little thinner behind the edge, but very deep, very deep hollow grind, insanely thin knife, but the detent, nice and strong, good detent, no lash. And you hear it engaging, but the lockup. It's almost like when I unlock it, you can see how it just keeps putting itself back into the lock position because it really locks up very solid. Nice early lockup, but not too early to where I worry. Let's see if you can see it. It's still a very solid lockup. And it just, it goes in with authority. I like that. Nice, comfortable lock bar as well. Very smooth action. Very solid. Next is a Tucson. This possibly is the been the strongest Tucson I've ever felt for lockup. And let me just be clear, they've all been very strong. I've never failed a Tucson, but this one is an integral. This one is the Tucson TS-195 integral and has so many forms of deployment between thumb, reverse flick, top flip, flipper tab, and they all work great. They all work fantastic. Even as a left-handed person, if you were left-handed, you could put your finger on the lock bar and still reverse flick it. So an awesome option for lefties. Um, but the lockup 
is very solid. And I'm, I'm going to do it really slow. You can really see, like, there's almost no chance that lock bar is not going underneath there. And when you slow roll it, you can really feel the lock engage. Same thing with the detent when it closes. That, that detent ball really holds it in there for a nice clicky detent. But the opening lockup, very, very solid. Love the frag pattern too. Now we got just a few more. We're going to go through these pretty quick. Sabenza, of course, the Sabenza. Um, nice. This is the smoothest Sabenza I've ever felt. This is the Chris Reeve Knife Sabenza. And yes, it is the smoothest one I've ever felt. The smoothest Chris Reeve Knife I've ever felt. But it doesn't stop that lockup from just engaging. Anybody who owns a Sabenza knows the feeling of the lockup. It is so solid. Mine has incredible strength i mean it's so solid from all directions but that lock bar just bang just locks up underneath there and the strength of the lock bar is very strong so that pressure and that clickiness is really really nice very satisfying and like i said this one is very very smooth. I do have a new thumb stud. I'll put a picture in of my new thumb stud. I just got to get to a vise and press this one out so I can replace my new one. That was supposed to be double-sided, but it did not come double-sided. Demco AD15. Now, this lock is the Scorpion lock, and you can actually watch this lock engage. It's a, There's a spring here. You can actually watch the back spacer here move when I go like this, which on this titanium bar, there's a steel bar right there, which is going to lock into this position. And you see it lock up. Nice, solid lock up. And it works very well. And then your grip makes this lock even stronger because you're actually pushing on the lock, making it even stronger as you use it. One more time. The close, it's um, it's very smooth if you have the lock bar disengaged, like you can swing it shut very easily and you can thumb flick it. It actually has a really nice ting to it. Love this knife. But when you slow roll it, that lock really snaps in there with authority very nicely and is very addictive. We have three more. One I do not have here, so I'm just going to show you it right now. It's the Demco AD20. It's currently at Stasa 23's house, so I apologize that I do not have it here, but it would definitely be on the list. I do not have a video of it being slow rolled, but just know when this lock engages, the shark lock on the AD20, man, it's possibly number one on this list. It's that good. But... Let's get to the next one because I do have this one here and it is the Medford USMC fighter flipper or fighter folder, whatever you want to call it. They do have a fixed blade version of this. Now the detent is very heavy and it has to be so it can flip, but this lockup, I mean, it's like a vault. You can see how solid it is under there. Very strong lock bar. When that lock bar engages, I know I didn't say this had anything to do with strength and has everything to do with engagement, but this is both. The best of both worlds. It engages very strong and very solid. I never worry about the geometry of the lock face not 
going into a lockup position. Very solid lockup. You can really hear it too. And I love it. Big knife though. Big knife. Now, this is the the number one on this list. And none of these were in any order. Let me just be clear. But for the ones I have here, this one definitely takes the cake for all of these. And I'll show you why. It's the Microtech SOCOM Elite. And it has to do with the... I, I believe it has a little bit to do with the detent ramp it has. Because when you get to this position... Did you see that? I... I, I, wasn't, I, I did not even try to do that. <laughs> Once you get to this position right here, let me hold the blade, right here, the blade just takes over and snaps into place. And that lock bar locks right up. It is such a solid lock up. And you almost feel like once you get to here, like a spring kicks in and it just assists it open because <laughs> it's uh, it's the ramp for sure. And then the detent is very clicky. Nice detent. This is a titanium liner with a, a steel lock bar insert. The, the lock engagement is incredibly strong. Not meaning like strong pressure like some of the other ones I meant, but just, you know, it's a very strong lock up. But yeah, just something too. When it gets to right there, it really starts wanting to take itself over. Very nice acoustics. Some of the best acoustics on a knife. Almost sounds like a... Sometimes it sounds like a gun. The slide racking or something. Or, or a shotgun racking. I mean, it just... Sometimes. Um, other times it gets a nice ding to it. Like it's just it has so many amazing acoustics. And the lockup is so solid. It's hard to beat a lockup like that. Alright, there you guys go. Microtech SOCOM Elite. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.